हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक माय नेम इज सुमित एंड आई एम अ सब्जेक्ट मैटर एक्सपर्ट इन आर प्रोग्रामिंग इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डेमोस्ट्रेट यू हाउ कैन वी विजुलाइज द सेल्सफोर्स डेटा बाय यूजिंग आर सो फॉर डूइंग दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू सेट अप अ कनेक्शन बिटवीन आर एंड सेल्सफोर्स and then we extracted the data or pull the data from salesforce into r then we'll visualize the data by using charts in r so the first thing we need to do is we should have a salesforce account so i have already registered on salesforce and that's my salesforce login i have already logged into salesforce and you can see here we have got various objects chatter campaign leads account contact creates opportunity so i'm going to visualize the opportunity data into r so this opportunity object will will holds the prospective customer records with whom will be going to do the business so i'm going to start r so that's the r gui i'm going to use it's a 64 bit version i am working on that's the r console where we are going to write our program so that's the console to execute our commands and we can have a new script we can add a new script editor to write down the scripts we have so the first line i'm going to do is i'm going to install a package and we need to install the package and the package name will be r force r force com that's the package name and once you run this command the package will be installed and once the package is installed we need to li write library r force com so let's install the package so i select it right click and run command and you can see the package is going to be installed in this directory in this specific directory so it will be connected to the cr and mirror and look for the package so i'll select an appropriate location from where i would like to download this particular package r4s.com package so after we pass the command the package has been downloaded and installed successfully then i run the second command that is to change to set the library to r4s.com there is no error it means the library has been successfully set to r4s.com now in order to establish uh, to set up a connection with r4s we need to create few objects or variables So I write here username and set it to the username. So my username is dot com. Let's check the username on Salesforce as well. What's the username? So I click on Salesforce and manage users and username. so that's the username so me dot september at the bsp.com so i have provided the same username then i create a new object as a password and i set the password and also we need a security token for the same so that's the security token next object will be instant url so the instant url is so the url which we are using here that's the instant url so i copy paste it and next is api version so version we are using it is uh, 35.0 version now how to how do we get to know that which version we are working on so for that we click on setup to get the current version click on setup scroll down to develop api and in this api we have one wds library so api wsdl enterprise wsdl so i just click on this wsdl and it will open in a new page and it will display that on what current version 
what's the current version on the application on which we are working on so when the file opens you can see we have the api version is 35.0 so i just write it here api version 35.0 that's my api version now I need to test whether the connection established successful or not. So I created a new object here name as session and in this session I pass r command r force com dot login and provide the object name username password instant URL And just run the command so now I'm going to run the commands one by one so first of all I run these four commands run and then I run this command run. so once I run the command I got the message that's the session ID it means the session uh, the the connection has been established successfully with R and Salesforce now the next thing we need to do is we need to get extract the data pull the data from the Salesforce so I would like to I would like to pull the data of an opportunity object. So I write here I create a new instant new object that is object name and the object name is opportunity. Sorry, it should be opportunity because we are assigning the value. Then fields. So now to fields I assign ID comma name comma amount these are the API names of the fields so fields and now next command is to retrieve the value so to retrieve the values I just write the command and also we can you we can copy paste the values here so that if you want to store it for later purpose we can just save this file in our format and the next command is R R force sorry R R force com dot retrieve retrieve session comma object name comma fields and let's run it. So after successful extraction, you can see the data has been extracted. We have ID, we have name, we have amount. So these are the data. So we have the Dickinson mobile generator amount is 15 ID is this. So if you want to just check it, we can click on opportunities and uh, we'll just make sure the data is correct or not. All opportunities. And you can see it's 15 and this one. So this, that, so this is how we, the, connection has been established and the data has been extracted into R. Now if I just want to visualize the data to visualize the data, I need to store the data into uh, an object. So I write here data data one and the command which we passed here. I just passed the same command. I just copy this command and paste the same command here. So the data will be extracted and stored into data. one. And now if I print here data one, I'll get the same data. The next thing I use here attach command attach data data one and now I can directly use the names so I write here name it displays the names all the names if I want to display amount I simple write amount otherwise we have we we have to use the data field with column names so just to make sure just to bypass that so I just attach the data and then we can directly use the names here and also I'll just wanted to know that how many uh, like as you uh, how many amounts or how many amounts are repeating here for example we have 15,000 so 15,000 is only one and 22,000 and uh, 22,000 do we have another record with the same amount or not so like here we have 12 1 lakh 20,000 in same manner we have 1 lakh 20,000 so in this like this we have the uh, the amount we have multiple accounts so just to count that I just write here so I just pass a command here count created a new object table amount 
so this table function this table function will convert this amount into a table and it will count the number of record the duplicate number of records so you can see here each amount is is been uh, each amount is listed here and now it is calculating that this particular amount has been uh, appeared how many times and then i print here count and now if i just want to print a pie chart so i just write here pie and pass the count here. and you can see the pie chart has been created successfully if you want to add labels onto this chart we can add the labels if i in the same manner if i just want to create a bar chart instead of pie chart so we can pass uh, we can create a bar plot function so i have bar plot and i write here count so you can see the bar chart has been created successfully if if you want to provide x labels or y labels we can provide the labels and also the title can also be assigned and the borders can also be changed in same manner in pie chart in pie chart we can uh, change the colors we can change the colors of this so i just pass a command here pie count color is called to rainbow because i don't know how many colors are there so rainbow length of amount so based on the length of amount it will be displayed the different color different amount in different colors so this is how we can visualize a salesforce data into our programming and we can have we can prepare charts or graphs by using based on that data that's all in this video if you have any queries you can get back to us on www.bisptraining.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on our programming if you want a customized training or our programming you can get back to us i will be coming up with some new videos new topics in our till then have a nice day goodbye